What, Never uh, surrender. What do we What do we think, everybody? I liked it. It was. Oh. Um, it felt similar to something else. I can't. I don't remember exactly what other it's got, game. Yeah, it's one of those like it's one of those nice like um, kind of fake D and D type things. It's like it's a, a very light yeah tabletop RPG. It's yeah. There's <laughs> there's that one with mice that's very similar. Uh, that no, I'm just kind of like, but it's it's it's. it's it makes sense that if you're like, I'm going to do a, a Goonies board game. Well, they're going on a, an adventure, so it's yeah. going to be an adventure game. And you right. know, I think the skills all worked out. You know, I think they, I think like, like a lot of the shit that they do, they, it, they s solidly encapsulate the themes and feel of the movie. Yes. This, this game is, uh, like back to the future and Disney villainous and, uh, the Funko verse game. Mm -hmm. This is made by Prospero Hall owned by Funko games. And they are really good at what they do. Like they're very good at thematic. Really, really good at licensed movie games, content yeah. for games. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would have liked it as much without the GM role. I think that brought a lot to it. Otherwise, it would have been a little too bland. But I think the GM mixing it up and then like yeah, I was it, trying to like tap like, around Kyle. If it were like a Fireball Island where it was like there was a th central thing, it's like oh we landed on this, let's roll. Oh we got to like that would yeah, be like less fun too than, random. than yeah. someone actively playing against yeah. us. No, they have they have actively scripted. I can show off that first adventure <laughs> page. Uh, and this this one was very simple, which yeah, makes it's, sense. It's, it's the, the first, first one. one. Yeah. 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 So I know you guys were a little upset that we were just running into a bunch of rats and bats <laughs> I mean, and it's boulders. Just, look, it's a tutorial level. But yeah, uh, yeah the, the future further adventures there. Yeah, are, there I'm are bosses. To play some more. Like this, it sounds like the second one you're gonna be up against. The <laughs> tellies are gonna be chasing you through the caves. That'll be fun. I I'm assuming that's Willie. When I will it. There's the fratellis. Oh, they're they're all hey, right. yeah. That's fun. And uh, there's also a giant octopus. Oh, hell yeah. The no, dragon. thank you. So the bosses have placards, too. Oh, that, uh, oh each tentacle's got help. That's yeah. Cool. I think, I think this, this is a game that I would uh, I would absolutely play through the whole campaign yeah. once. I'm not sure how replayable it'll yeah, be. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. But, but it's but... not very expensive. It's a $35 board yeah, game. Yeah, it's like, yeah, for, for and you get nine, nine yeah. adventures. That's an experience. It's like a legacy where it. you don't, where it's not a legacy. Right, yeah. You know? And there's also something at the end about... Your next adventure. How many times you bought a board game and played it more than nine times? <laughs> I will say when I when I opened up the box the, f the first time, not knowing what the game was at all, and just opened up this game board, I was like, "What the hell is happening here? <laughs> it's just a bunch of colored blobs." Yeah. What is this? <laughs> yeah. But uh, it it kind of changed to get. I think it really helps I think, I, again yeah, to have would... that GM yeah, role to mm -hmm. help. I think they did a good job of making like like because a lot of these types of games are tend to be very expensive like because they've got like very nice models uh, and stuff like that but like having the board yeah. like this that's very modular and can be like this cave could be any cave right, yeah. and this, now this time we're going this way and we go mm -hmm, that way mm -hmm. you know I think it makes it cuts down on the price a lot yeah yeah the oh, Goonies you know, never say die I think it's a Target exclusive it's basically like when you see like a game like this on a shelf you're like I. I want to play that, but I bet it's not very good. But right? this one, you're like, yeah. oh, okay, yeah, yeah good. Solid, yeah. solid. Hey there, my name's Kyle McCarley. I'm a voice actor by trade. You may have heard me as one of these guys. But I'm here to talk to you now about one of my favorite hobbies, board games. I love them. If you like board games, you should check out The Board and Barrel every Sunday night at 7.30 Pacific on twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley, where me and my buddies play board games. We also give you guys a chance to help us or hurt us, depending on how you feel, with our buff and nerf house rules. And we have virtual bingo cards you can fill out while you're watching the show. It's a good time. Hope to see you there.